So this is what I have been doing all weekend. I've been setting up my two studios because I shoot a certain way and I consistently shoot that way. So I've put these up. We got the black for the blackout videos and we have a secondary, <laughs> we have a secondary editing station. I'll talk about that a little later. We got another camera that we're gonna keep here. We're gonna keep these lights here. And we're going to keep those there. Probably gonna put in a third light, but I don't really need that much light for this area. It really performs well. Now, I've been playing around with this green screen. And this has been very <laughs> interesting. I finally kind of figured some stuff out. If you're watching a YouTube video about green screens, I'm gonna save you a lot of time. Essentially, you want two to three lights on the green screen. The lights that are on the green screen must be the same light and they must be in the same position so you can have an even spread of light. And then the two lights here, which are on me, you wanna make sure that they never spill on to the green screen. That is a big issue that I was having because I, I finally found one where the guy was like, okay, this is what you do. I was like, ah, there we go. Those are the results. And then this camera is pretty much gonna stay there because I'm probably gonna start shooting two to three videos a day. Hence the reason I had to set all this up to create a workflow because when you're producing a lot of video and you don't have your stuff set up and this is another editing station and I could this setup is going upstairs in another studio or it might be going over here now this is wardrobe <laughs> I'm buying certain clothes just for video production that's the only time I wear them and then you know we've got this hallway here which I can use for some shots and then what I'm thinking about doing since I am not a pack rat is turning this into some more studios because fortunately there's not a lot of stuff in here thank God because I'm thinking about doing a permanent green screen right here because I got plenty of room plenty of distance and I've got some other plans so we will see how this develops but it's been a very interesting weekend just putting this up here if you're gonna do a lot of video production like you don't have to really go this much if you're gonna do like one or two maybe three videos a week but when you're going to start cranking out content to, let's see, three videos per day, five days a week. So that's 15, yeah, 60 to 90 videos a month. You're going to need a very clear workflow or you're going to run into some problems. Now, one of the things that I have all of these editing suites is I shoot in 4K. And that is a bear because your 4K files are pretty big. So you're going to use a lot of data. So one of my little solutions and I do my video, then I dump files into this guy, which is almost full. That's 10 and I only have four gigs left. So I'm about to get another one. And I've got another external hard drive on the other editing station. So I got a lot of hardware, but if, and you know, many people will disagree with me. You know, I feel that everyone should be shooting at 4K because it's the future. And as someone who had a lot of videos that I didn't shoot, I didn't even shoot in 1080. A lot of the stuff on the channel, especially the first three or four years was 720. 
and that was a mistake. I wish I had upgraded my camera much, much earlier. But anyway, yeah, for those of you who want to do the green screen thing, it's pretty simple once you get it down, but there's a lot of conflicting information. Because I finally got around to steaming out the screen, but really the way that I was shooting, it didn't, I didn't even have to, I just did it because I didn't like the wrinkles. Two lights that reflect evenly on the green screen and preferably, you can get away with one, but preferably two lights on their subject, if that's you, and you'll get some nice results. Plus, I learned some new editing tricks in Final Cut Pro. So the march continues on. All right, back to work. I'll talk to you guys later.